unless it comes from you inside without any external force trust me you can be a great actor or a great actress if at all you have the passion what inspired me to join the film industry one it is one voice joker called vjg but in almost all the movies i watched when i was still a young boy all his movies there was a name john either on the credits before or after so me as a young boy watching this movie after enjoying it with his translation here and there and seeing john my name john at home they call me john ah something spoke to me and told me you are supposed to be a filmmaker from there I didn't even turn back. I just kept going, irrespective of many hurdles that came along. But that was my calling. I saw it from there. Remarkable projects I've worked on. I'll mention the first one I did with Atonga Media, that is Ayeni Steven. It was Beautiful Ashes. I call it remarkable because I worked on this project with uh, Michael Wauyo Jr., who is one of the greatest men in art. We cannot fail to mention <laughs> I worked with the Nabuiso on Prickly Roses, such a great team. Reach a hand Uganda on Chadala. I mean, right? Yeah. First day. I have worked with Maria Mundagire, my husband's wife, a feature film. You know I love you so much. I love you more. I have worked with Limit Production on What If. I have worked with Rowan Pictures on Half London. No, but why is Lucy putting the highest of hills between the two of us? And all these projects are very amazing. They throw you out there for the public to see you, and they are projects that you keep learning many, many things when you're there. <laughs> Achievements while working in the industry. One experience, very, very important experience I have gotten working in this industry. And this experience can either put me at the top or to be at the top alone. So trust me, this experience I've had is worth it out there. And trust me, I've worked with a crew that everyone sees and admires to work with. And I cannot mention names here, but I have worked with those people. I know them, they know me. And the other thing I cannot fail to mention, I've gotten there some little command. People have a concept that these are uptown actors and downtown actors, which is very wrong. And I am so much challenged by that statement. We still have minimal finance. The finances haven't yet come in really yet nice and we are dealing in a show business and in a show business without money you are not in the business that is quite a very very big challenge we just need to look into that as a whole industry we make the finances better that will be much better i think if we can find a way of working together because i have seen studios coming together to, to, to produce a feature film, to produce a series. Trust me, that will be the best way because some of the finances we are, we are complaining about, we cannot see them because the studios have combined their hands, they have the resources, they have the finances, and this challenge, trust me, it can be done away with. What should the government do to help the film industry? Give us the laws protecting our works, Give us the copyright, put us in the national budget, give us a ministry, you will see what we can do. What does it take for one to become an actor or actress? Simple thing, it is just passion. It is that inner love you have for acting and the rest will be history. Unless it comes from you inside, Without any external force, trust me, you can be a great actor or a great actress, if at all you have the passion.